Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Thank you very much for joining all of you and we'll start the episode with the typical naming ceremony. Let me bring back the UI and we've got a two-year-old beaver over here. And in episode 18, the highest liked comment came from Noah Kanoa. So Noah... Thank you very much for uh, for your support. Uh, what Noah Noah commented on on that one was to he essentially agreed with the idea and recommended us to build this canal instead of going for uh, flooding the whole map and the whole 50 people agreed with you so thank you very much for your uh, recommendation and uh, with that you are now in our our colony I believe I did yeah yeah it's it's here great now besides Noah there's a couple more beavers that I would like to would like to name. So let's find another beaver that's uh, nice and young. Uh, okay, Rangi over here. Rangi is going to become Kiwi. And this request came from Polly. From uh, from actually, I, I I can't remember which episode it was, but uh, uh, you you've been uh, around for quite a quite a while with us as well. So thank you very much for your support. And uh, now we got some Kiwis in our colony as as well. Another special special name is gonna go to the good looking beaver. Yet another subscriber on our, on our channel that's uh, that's been commenting literally every on every single Timberbone video. So uh, I do love all the comments that you're leaving, and and I would like to thank you for your continued support to the channel here as well. So welcome, welcome, uh, the, the good looking beaver. You are now living in uh, in the Amsterdam, and I think the last one that we would like to name, if I can just quickly find. Uh, someone that's relatively young over here. Uh, here's one beaver, and the last one's gonna go to Malaysia. I've noticed there's been a few a few followers that are from there, and uh, there's been a request as well to call it after after Malaysia. So um, welcome to the col colony, all Malaysians that are following this channel. Uh, you are now part of uh, Beaver Town. All right, so with the naming ceremony now done. Let's uh, talk a little bit about our uh, next project that we're, we're going to do here. In our last episode, we got the farming area looking pretty good. There's only a few things left to build here, but they're queued up and, they, and the builders are busy doing them. So the first thing uh, I think I mentioned in the last episode as well was to figure out how we want to keep this water um, sitting, sitting here, not just flowing out of the map or or towards the, the river. We do want to fill this up a little bit more. So what I was thinking, uh, whilst I was carefully looking at this, well, I think now is a good time to put the plans in place and then I'll uh, I'll let the beavers build it later. But essentially we want to do, I think, a first level of, of levees like so. I'm just going to check the height real quick and and looks like it's pretty good. So, so what we can do is not the dam, we need the levees. Uh, continue the levees that way and with the triple high floodgates I think we will put them over there looks like pretty good we can unpause this levee and the rest yeah we'll just fill it up with levees and the reason why I'm doing it so is because I want those levees to be bumping water towards this side I want this canal to be hugging this cliff uh, over over on this side and then we'll do the same we'll use some dynamite carving in this uh, little canal over here and um, purely because we've got a our tree plantation that is supporting the colony and i don't want to have this flooded the whole time so yeah that's uh, that's how we're gonna do build this over here now the second thing i would like to build here is i just need to bring some roads forward first i also want to have some platforms so that way we can cross over when we need to. We'll do the same with the roads. Bring them over. And I quickly want to check how far can the beavers walk. Okay, I, it's not going to tell me right away. But I'm pretty sure they can cross maybe about towards the end here. I will want to get rid of those trees. So what we'll do is we'll create a temporary log pile. And also a lumberjack uh, flag in here. Right. So that can probably stay here for a little bit, but then I have a feeling they're not going to be able to reach all the way if I'll be able to grab the last levees. 
Yeah, I think these might be just out of reach. I know they're too high and in the corner where they can't reach it so because they're on the floor but i still have a feeling that they won't be able to uh, walk all the way up here so what i would like to try is let's see we can maybe bring i want to build a bridge over here so somewhere in this location i think the longest we can do without using when we uh, without using metals is three but this looks very nice as well yeah, let's, let's do it this way, and then we can bring roads over, and here we could do another bridge, or let's see, maybe, yeah, maybe another level 2 bridge. Yeah, that should be quite... Yeah, I think we're just gonna leave it like this. I would like to use bridges more, um, instead of platforms, and maybe that's something we should actually do here as well, now that I think about it. So... Three is one of them. Oh, those roads are in the way. So let's let's get rid of those roads. And like so. One bridge goes over there. And we are going to have, I think, one more. Yeah, that should make it look a little bit uh, nicer in my, at least in my opinion. Okay, we'll resume the simulation once again. We'll let the beavers crack on with uh, this. Uh, actually, let's give them a slightly higher priority with, with this side. Same with... Uh, let me just spin it around, get a better angle. And straight across. Now, what I think isn't a huge priority is maybe the second level in here. I just want to get the first level in place and then we can go from there, really. Okay, so that's done. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we got the farms in place as well. No one's working here, but that's that's okay. Uh, we can always close some of the builder huts later. But for the time being, I'd prefer to have more builders than, than farmers. Just for the time being. Oh, I've queued up also a few more potato, what, what, what they called, griddles. So, because we do have quite a lot of potatoes already um, in, in the storage. And the food is actually building up very nicely. So, the next step for us is to start transporting or trading uh, the potatoes with, uh, with the other districts. So, Amsterdam is focused on, on um, potatoes and we need a distribution post in here. That would be actually perfect location because it's right next to the bridge over here. And so that way they can bring them over and I think the storage is uh, here. We could have, I don't know if I want to block this area here, but we could do a couple of platforms in here instead and then have the drop off point. A quick auto save right on top of it. Okay, uh, let's have a look at, uh, whilst we're talking about distribution and, and trading, let's just have a quick look. What are we trading or moving around? Water berries. Okay, so this one is fine i think when it comes to bread we would like to uh, set some limits now i'm surprised at my at myself really that we have not used this before but it i think it's about time we set set some limits so for example we don't really want to export any bread and um, if it's less than 50 let's see what else same with carrots we do want to keep some of that food over here and potatoes let's do the same grilled potatoes we want to keep at least 50. I think the rest, we're not too worried, so we can we can leave it as it is. But uh, let's have a look at our farms real quick as well. They should be doing good. Food levels, bread is okay. We got some carrots and grilled potatoes. So we still got some potatoes somewhere here. Yeah. Do you know what? How far can you reach? You can still reach down there as well. Okay. So that is fine. Actually, no. We are going to take this one out. And all of uh, all of you will change to wheat, just like we planned before. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it about the farming for now. We can leave the Amsterdam alone. They've got some levies already in place as well, so pretty happy about that. Moving on, let me just check District Two. Yeah, we've got some carrots, berries, and uh, oh, we've got no water at all. What's going on with the beavers in in here? Okay, so maybe we're just waiting for a few to grow up. Okay, not to worry. We should be fine. I'm gonna have to try and remember to come back to this 
distribution post. Actually, let's let's give this a high priority whilst I still remember, and uh, then then we can put a few beavers there to start exporting the grilled potatoes as well. Now, moving on, this episode we will be mostly focusing around power and production. Power will be the first step, and I don't think we'll um, get to production improv uh, improvements just just yet. It might be a future episode, but um, as highlighted, power is a bit of an issue, and these water wheels uh, we can't we can't quite rely on them. So we need a better solution. And what I was thinking is to create a new wind park. To do that, we're gonna need some access to bring power lines up here, and essentially. What we will want to do is to have a lot of windmills. Now, looking at the windmill options, we've got two. We've got the wind, uh, regular windmill and we've got the large windmill. Difference is, smaller windmill produces uh, 120 horsepower and the large one gives us 300. When it comes to resources, the large one obviously takes twice as much, um, but it also takes gears and paper. Now, blanks and paper is not a problem to us. However, gears... It's gonna take just a lot of, lot of gears. Now, looking at district, uh, we got a trout coming in. Looking at district one, I think the blanks should be going up slowly. Yeah, it might be still transporting or trading some over to Amsterdam, but, uh, but gears, we only have one gear shop. And yes, we are gonna improve the situation here in the future, but for the time being, my plan is going to be to actually use only the small windmills i'd really want to do the big ones however yeah i think for the time being with the gears it's just gonna slow us down so much the reason why i'm gonna do small ones is once we got a lot of them in it doesn't it's gonna provide us enough power essentially is, is what i'm trying to say so the first step we need to do here is is to um, let me give them a high priority we want to empty this storage into into this log pile here and as recommended before, maybe we should... Uh, let me get a better, better, better angle. We should do maybe something like, like this in here. We can connect it with the road. Same over here. And in the future, let's say a couple of these log piles uh, get empty. Then uh, we can delete the roads, play around with the uh, district gate. And let uh, district 1 really fill up these um, log piles for us. So, for example, right now, I think we could do it in, um, let me see, we need a gate. We're going to put it over here, connect it up, and what you'll see... Oh... Uh, yeah, you're, you're not going to see them fill up, I'm afraid. Well, great idea, but that, that's not going to work here. Ah... Uh, well, that's embarrassing, but um, let's let's change it up then. Let's just check how far can they walk. Okay, they can come up up to up to here. So we can still do the same idea. We're just gonna do it, I guess, on this side. We'll do couple, and yeah. Okay, unfortunately they're gonna go. That's fine. Beavers are now emptying the storage over here. We've got a few staircases built, and the first. I think I've said first a few times now. It's not the first. What uh, what I want here, second or third, is is another lumberjack. Okay, high priority, and we need to get rid of those those trees. So let me just highlight all of them for uh, for cutting down. Okay, we're good. We'll get one of the lumberjacks in here. We just speed up the time as well. And the last thing we want is is to move move the power power wires up a few levels. So we can connect them up in the future. Let's give you a high priority as well. I think one of them has to go. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a few things in place. Let's... Uh, oh no. Can you go and work in this one? Yes, you can. Fantastic. And look at that. Oh, still too far. Okay. That's fine. We, we can still use... Yeah, a couple of these ones here. I should have put the distribution center further away. I think... Can we empty this one, please? Okay, good. Right, so I'll let them clean this forest over here. Get the dynamites in place and we'll be back as soon as this is done. 
and it seems we have completed the last last of the trees and now let me just post this for one second what we will want to figure out is how to how to really place them here i know that the distance between two what is it windmills is what was it again it's uh it's two Let's turn it around so we can do build them something like so same thing on the other side so that's pretty much how we can build them uh, in front of each of those windmills we are also gonna put down the four-way junctions and i do want to have one more windmill so let's do three platforms now we can have a windmill on top of it and then um, we'll build the rest uh, well this whole platform really full of them okay so i will put them down real quick and i'll be back in a second all right so this is pretty much how we, how we want the windmills now the next step to for me to do really is to carefully put in place the inter different intersections as well uh yep we don't need this one here um so i'm gonna map this out I don't want to lock anyone anyone in, so we'll do it in stages. We'll try and start with the furthest ones, obviously first, such as these ones, and also them if I can grab them and highlight them. So that's the plan, that way we shouldn't really block anything, and once the windmills are in, we'll build the power shafts as well. Um, give me a little bit of time, we'll uh, have it constructed in, in, in stages, and then we'll be, we'll be right back. It seems our wind park is pretty much complete i think the only thing that is missing or not done here is the final uh, link to connect up uh, these last few windmills and uh, we'll just leave them to finish this section off in in here but essentially yeah, that that's the that was the plan and it's come together quite nicely of course again i would have loved to have the bigger windmills in here but for the time being i think think the small ones should be enough for us and right now we're producing about uh, 3820 which only um, 100, uh, 1820 is being used right now and then in the future I do believe we are going to put some smaller trees around here just to make this area look a little bit little bit nicer but then again this is more like an industry oriented area and this is more where our power lines and, and power production is happening now we, we do have enough beavers in in here so we can leave them for the time being and i think the supply and the trading is is quite fleshed out as well so that's fine let's have a quick look um what's the progress on the dam over here and yeah okay so that's in place that's wonderful to see is the water still flowing through that's a, that's a no i think we're still filling up this lake in here after after we had that trout so that should be okay I'll, i will keep an eye on it but essentially yeah so those trees are starting to grow up now as well so that's that's good we're still holding some water in here we got some bridges in place they're finishing off the last one in here too and they're still doing some levees in here so that's coming along 
very, very nicely too. Let's just unpause this lumberjack flag. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. Next step will be put some dynamites create this channel in here and uh, and then we can have another river flowing into into this one okay it seems the water level is slowly rising because we we can see this um river starting to fill up with water again but all right that is going to be the end of end of this episode so once again thank you very much for joining and i hope to see you again in the next one